Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for November the 30th. I'm going to be pulling one card per sign. So if you know your sun sign, you can get a little bit of juice out of this. If you know your sun, moon, and rising, you can get a little more juice out of this. And if you know all your planetary placements, this can actually give you quite a bit of information about what to expect during the day. All right, let's get started. Everybody remember that we do still have a contest running, and if you want to participate in that contest, all you have to do is put a comment below the video. Aries, what you have showing up here is the 10 of water. What I'm feeling like today for this for you, Aries, is that you're not feeling so happy. There's something going on that's not making you feel very fulfilled or satisfied. All right, just for today. And it's only one thing. It's not your whole day, guys. Okay, next up, let's look at Taurus. So for Taurus, you guys have the two of fire. This just tells me that you have some kind of decision that you have to make today. And this decision, there's really not a bad choice, no matter what way you slice it. And so whatever you choose is gonna be just fine. And I really don't see you have any trouble, having any trouble making that decision. Okay, next up, we're looking at Gemini. Okay, so Gemini's, you guys have the emperor showing up in reverse. Um, this is one of those cards that when it shows up in reverse, I automatically start putting my hand up to just rub my head because um, the Emperor in reverse for me personally as a reader is talking about somebody with strong narcissistic personality, um, strong narcissistic tendencies, let's say. Okay, so they may not be diagnosed as having a narcissistic personality disorder, but they have some strong tendencies. So Gemini, I do think that you are interacting with somebody who does have some strong narcissistic tendencies um, today. And so those of you who don't know what narcissistic tendencies are, um, just a quick breakdown is that they never can have enough attention. Um, they always want more attention, more attention from more people and more people. So this is somebody that uh, may have a lot of girlfriends or a lot of boyfriends, even though they may be committed to one of them, or maybe they're committed to multiples of them. Um, and not in an honest way, not in a polyamorous type of way with integrity, uh, but in a more of a dishonest, underhanded way. This is somebody who will twist the truth to get you to do whatever they want. They're not above using emotional manipulation. Um, everybody else that is not really close to them sees them as an upstanding citizen and a really great person. It's only the people that are closer to them that actually see um, their bad behavior in action and, and are victims of their bad behavior in action. Okay, so that's a general quick rundown. I think you're interacting with somebody like that. I am hoping for your sake, Gemini's, that this interaction is a short one. These people really do a number on your self-esteem and self-confidence as well, by the way. Next up, Cancer. Cancer, which we have the Four of Earth showing up here. This just tells me that you are stashing some money away or you're stashing some type of thing away that is material and tangible. You're stashing something away for later on. Uh, for an opportunity later or maybe you're going to give somebody a surprise gift, but stashing something away. Okay, so yep, that was Cancer. Next up, let's look at Leo. Leo, Leo, Leos. You guys have the star card showing up in reverse. This is telling me that you're a little bit confused about what direction you're supposed to be going today or what purpose you're supposed to be having today. And so uh, it makes it really hard to make decisions when you don't know what you're actually trying to accomplish. So that's kind of what we have showing up here for you today, Leo. Best thing that you can do when you see this energy coming in is sort of step back and regroup. If you need to have a conversation with somebody else to, you know, figure out what direction do they want you, like a boss or a supervisor, you know, what do they want you to be attacking first or looking at first? What kind of purpose do they want you to have? You know, have that conversation. If nobody else is involved in setting your purpose or your goals today, then step back and, and start thinking about them. Don't let that confusion rule the whole day. We don't like that. Next up, let's look at Virgo. Virgo, five of fire. I do feel like there's a lot of creative power going on around you. Um, I have been seeing this as a drama for the past several days, but to me, Virgo, today this feels like there's a lot of a lot of people with a lot of creative ideas around you, and I think they're wanting you to sort of pick one and show favorites to somebody. Um, so you're being asked to make a decision here. You're being asked to pick a favorite here. 
um, you get to handle this in whatever way makes sense to you but there's your heads up that that is coming all right so that's for Virgo next up let's see about Libra Libra is king of water king of water I really feel like today Libras you're pretty much in control of your emotions you're deciding if you're gonna let them show or not show you're the one and you're paying attention you're very aware of your emotions right now I don't feel I don't feel like you're getting out of control about anything and in fact I think that you may be expressing some very positive positive emotions to someone in a very sweet in a very sweet way okay so that's Libra next up Scorpio ho oh. Scorpio something's going on today that we are not very patient about <laughs> patience factor is running low okay all right next up let's look at Sagittarius so Sagittarius you guys have the messenger of earth this just means that you're going to be finding out something about either material goods or money that you're happy to hear some kind of good news or message about material goods or money for Sagittarius Capricorn Capricorns you do have the love card showing up here I do feel like you have to make some type of decision and that decision has to do with um, are you going to choose something that makes you happy or are you going to choose something that makes you feel like a martyr that you're sacrificing about okay so some type of decision coming up today and I will say that you're choosing for the long term your happiness or your martyrdom take heed all right so that is for Capricorn next up we have Aquarius Aquarius we show you with the hermit in reverse hermit in reverse means that either you have before today or during the earlier part of today you're going to be spending some time alone sorting out what are your priorities what is it that you like what is it that you want what triggers you you know and where do you go from here based on those priorities okay then once we get towards the end of the day or maybe today if this happened you know yesterday then we see you coming out and ready to be out and social and making some of those decisions okay uh, making some of those decisions public I guess taking action on your priorities Pisces Pisces transformation didn't you get this in reverse earlier in the month now we see you really um, embracing some transformation and allowing yourself to move forward in a productive way you're kind of facing the fear of the unknown and I, it feels to me like there's a lot of energy here of excitement so I think that you've come to a different um, perspective about some kind of transformation and you're allowing that perspective that new excited perspective to help you to move forward and to embrace this so that you can have the benefits of going through this transformation um, willingly and cooperatively with the universe <laughs> thank you guys thank you everybody for being here I do appreciate it uh, remember the contest is still running so you're going to want to put a comment down below the video if you want to participate thank you guys so much for sharing for liking uh, for subscribing and of course thank you to those of you ordering private readings and Reiki sessions and Reiki candles with me it's my pleasure to do these videos and of course it's always my pleasure to serve you as individuals as well so looking forward to seeing some of you today and the rest of you if I don't see you in person I'll see you back on the next video peace out